As said, the diffraction gratings are easy to install. You remove the top cover of the instrument, four screws, set it aside. The diffraction gratings holders all look like these heavy blocks. The grating is in the front. There is a several adjustment points on these gratings which are all set at the factory and need no user intervention. User hold the friendly knurled knob up on top, the central mount, drop the grating inside. There's a three-point kinematic mount there. You hear the solid mechanical engagement and tighten that screw, that knurled screw on top. That's finished. We can close the cover again and if we were pumping today we could pump down already. That's, uh, that's as simple as it is. On the exit portion of the instrument, there's a few adjustments as well. The microchannel plate is normally mounted on this side of the instrument. There is a conflat flange where the MCP is mounted. There's a micrometer underneath, which allows to adjust the location of the microchannel plate across the rolling circle. There's a countering screw which applies pressure locking against that micrometer when you fix the position. There are two screws here, one here and one here. And these are pushing and pulling and they allow you to pivot this entire assembly around the center of this chamber and around the rolling circle. Using a combination of those adjustments you find the best focus across the flat microchannel plate when you're using the, the grazing incidence geometry. Those adjustments, with the exception of the grading installation and setting the entrance slit width, are all made at the factory and need no customer intervention. Changing the wavelength.